one one. So the race for Seattle City Attorney is heating up tonight with one of the candidates already on the defensive over a series of disturbing tweets. And now Fox 13 News has learned that her campaign manager also has a history of making vile, even threatening remarks on Twitter. Fox 13 political reporter Brandy Cruz joins us live with this exclusive reporting, Brandy. Yes, yeah, so you have abolitionist Nicole Thomas Kennedy. She's already for weeks and weeks been trying to dig herself out of the news cycle of her own really troubling tweets. Uh, and then we've discovered that her campaign manager, top person on her campaign, uh, has tweets that, that many would argue are actually much worse. Nicole Thomas Kennedy's Twitter feed reads like a diary of her rabid hatred of the police. The woman who wants to be Seattle's top prosecutor thinks cops are serial killers, arsonists are heroes, and property destruction is a moral imperative. That's a joke. It's a joke? Yes, it's a joke. But if you think that her tweets are bad, her campaign managers are even worse. Meet Ty Reed, that's her on the left, the picture taken just a month ago. In it, Thomas Kennedy and current Seattle City Councilwoman Tammy Morales. On Reed's shirt, a flaming Seattle police cruiser and the words, this is a policy proposal. If Thomas Kennedy's Twitter account is a diary of hatred, Reed's is a diary of violence. June 3rd, 2020, this bitch Mayor Durkin is going to get her ass beat one day. October 2nd, 2020, in response to a shooting in South Seattle, prayers the victim is a cop cop spelled KKK. Let me just say something. Let me just say June 10th, 2020, when our news crew was mobbed in the occupied protest zone known as CHOP, Reed tweeted, filth don't deserve niceties. It seems no one is spared from her violent thoughts. June 2nd, 2020, she takes aim at then candidate for president Joe Biden, who'd just given a speech during the height of unrest around race and policing. All his pretty words aren't stopping the police from beating our asses. So the unity bullshit is wasted breath, hopefully his last. We wondered what the Washington State Democratic Party might think about Reed's threats of violence against Seattle's Democratic mayor and death wishes for the country's Democratic president, especially considering the chair of the state party just put her support behind Nicole Thomas Kennedy's campaign, urging Seattleites to vote for their values rather than elect Thomas Kennedy's opponent, Republican Ann Davison. A Democratic Party spokesperson telling us in an email, to be clear, we don't believe people should wish violence upon elected officials or anyone else. But the individual whose tweets you screenshotted doesn't appear to have much affection for the Democratic Party or our elected officials and doesn't work for us. So I'm not sure how or why our party would answer for inflammatory and irresponsible statements they might make. With ballots set to start arriving next week, our Hannah Kim sat down with Nicole Thomas Kennedy today and asked her about her campaign manager's violent words. I think that she's a black woman in America that has seen a lot of people that look like her being killed by police and she was probably pretty angry about that. And how about this one, where her campaign manager called former Seattle Police Chief Carmen Best an Uncle Tom mother This is your campaign manager. And she can speak for herself. And as Hannah tried to press the issue further. But do you think this is going to affect your race? Uh, if that's the only topic that we're going to touch on, I think we need to end the interview at this point. Do you think that it will affect your race? I don't have any comment on tweets that happened before I knew somebody. So you're not coming out and condemning them right now? I don't have any comment on tweets that someone tweeted before I knew them. Yeah, and I will say it was just lucky for us that, uh, Hannah, that you had a prearranged interview with Nicole Thomas Kennedy today. Uh, I got news of these word of uh, these tweets this morning and so had sort of uh, <laughs> reached out to you and said, hey, well, you've got her. Will you ask about this? I should also note that we've reached out to Tyree directly to try to ask her, are these things that you'd like to speak to? I will also say a little insider kind of politics here. Her campaign is not happy that we went forward with this story uh, today, not happy to say the least. Uh, their argument is that this is a campaign staff or the campaign manager. It's not the actual candidate. But what I would say to that is when you combine that with the history of Nicole Thomas Kennedy's tweets, and again, not tweets that are five, ten years old, they're from last year. And then you look at her campaign manager uh, and, and the types of things that she's saying. There's a real question there about the pattern that that shows and what kind of office environment Nicole Thomas Kennedy would have if she's elected. We're talking about, you know, talking about beating up the current sitting mayor. I mean, these tweets are very obviously wrong.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I did, you know, ask her repeatedly because I wanted to give her a, a platform to say, hey, are you condemning these tweets? Uh, how do you feel about them now, you know, even if you didn't know about them before? Uh, so as you, you just saw, I mean, she didn't really come out and condemn them either. I do want to say that I appreciate her coming to the interview. Again, it wasn't for this story. Mm -hmm. we, I'm highlighting the city attorney's race, which is a big race in the city right now. And that story is coming out next week because her and Ann Davison, you know, they're polar opposites. Such an interesting. Race. It really is, yeah. Very right. consequential.